Who's that old? I think that's the... Did you catch that? Let's see it again. I think actually... I think actually... This monkey is exhibiting a highly abnormal behavioral pattern known as floating limb syndrome. Floating limb syndrome is when a non-human primate uncontrollably raises its arm or leg, which is then held in position. Other associated actions include contorted positions, inability to lower the limb, and in more severe cases, the non-human primate will attack the limb by biting it. The scientific research is very clear that floating limb syndrome is an abnormality usually seen in non-human primates raised under highly inappropriate conditions such as isolation rearing and being separated from their mothers at birth. Here are other cases of floating limb syndrome seen in non-human primates. It's life. <laughs> Sooner or later, we're going to become a reality. <coughs> so what you think, bro? Everything is okay. It seems okay to me. The foot seems okay because this monkey's behavior has nothing to do with its foot. Floating limb syndrome is a psychological disorder, showing once again how this owner is utterly clueless about capuchin monkey behavior, especially abnormal ones. Seems okay. It's all good. <laughs> you good? You good? Let's see how it is. Let's see how it is. okay? Is this hand okay? This one is. Okay. He's good. That cowboy here, yeah, he has way out of the wind. All different colors and stuff too. Let me see your hand. Why are you just gonna you got itchy hand now? Oh it's I don't have a belly. You gotta stand up show muscles. Oh baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's like, it's just the way I sit down that makes it gooch out. <laughs> Howdy, what is going on? Come right here, right here. Howdy, I don't drink beer. I don't drink it all. 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 I do not drink. What's up with that? I'll tell the viewers what's up with that. This monkey is displaying a highly abnormal behavior known as floating limb syndrome. Unfortunately for this owner, there is absolutely no way to spin this as anything but a serious mental disorder. However, we will see in future videos that putting his ignorant spin on it is exactly what he does. Yet more proof that this owner is not fit to own these beautiful monkeys.
Fear. Yeah, but let me investigate it. Let me investigate it, man. Why hold you here when you go with that? Hmm. Yo, you got some frame, boy. Yo, some frame on your foot, happy. <laughs> oh, you just can't be a silly. So this owner thinks this monkey is just being silly. This owner knows instinctively that something is not right with this behavior, yet he minimizes it by excusing it as silly behavior. But that is nothing new for this self-anointed capuchin monkey guru. He always has a ready excuse for every one of his monkey's behavioral dysfunctions, deeming them as normal despite scientific research proving him dead wrong. Case in point, this same monkey regularly displays body rocking movements with a blanket. This owner thinks it is perfectly normal, but scientific research again proves him very wrong. I have not seen any other pet monkey vlogger on YouTube and social media whose pet monkeys display any one of the abnormal behaviors his monkeys display. Nor have I seen any other pet monkey vlogger keep their monkeys seemingly locked up in their cages for many hours of the day and night as this owner's monkeys, given no proper enrichment activities, and overfed the wrong kinds of foods. Yet this owner loves to brag about how healthy and happy his monkeys are. How they live better lives than many humans. One of the unfortunate pet capuchin monkeys owned by this individual, arguably one of the most unethical pet monkey owners in America, continues to show abnormal and highly disturbing behaviors. This monkey was last seen two weeks ago and in that video highly distressing scenes of floating limb syndrome were observed. So for this monkey to continue displaying floating limb syndrome is a strong indictment against his owner's treatment of his monkeys. To recap, floating limb syndrome is a highly abnormal behavioral glitch often seen in non-human primates with mental disorders. Floating limb syndrome, as the name suggests, is when non-human primates reflexively raise their leg or arms up into the air for no apparent reason, and sometimes hold it there. In the case of floating arms, the hand will be raised almost as if to perform a military salute. Other characteristics of floating limb syndrome include inability to move and keep the limb down, contorted positions, and in some cases, the non-human primate will bite down on the floating limb. Some research studies show a high comorbidity of floating limb syndrome with self-biting. The historical research shows that floating limb syndrome is a highly abnormal behavior that is, along with self-biting, indicative of highly inappropriate living conditions throughout a non-human primate's life. Non-human primates that were subject to isolation rearing, raised via surrogate methods, kept in labs or highly restrictive living quarters, and maternally separated as infants to be at particular risk of developing behaviors like floating limb syndrome. Bottom line, the owner of this monkey has no basis to make light of or excuse floating limb syndrome and self-biting. It is not open to interpretation depending on circumstances whatsoever. It is bad period. Note the following examples of floating limb syndrome as well as self-biting. Oh, I've been, I've been, I've been. Continual displays of uncontrollable floating limb syndrome and self-biting. Continual displays yeah. of uncontrollable <laughs> floating limb syndrome and self-biting. Yeah, so about that bath. This owner forced this monkey to take a bath prior to this, and it was a disturbing watch to say the least. I have never seen this monkey so fidgety in a bath since he was an infant. This monkey looked highly agitated and would not stay in one place, at times flashing his usual fear grin, and at one point you could hear the owner's partner trying to calm him down. 
What are you doing to your foot? Come on, homie. I know this owner watched the previous video of his monkey that exposed and explained floating limb syndrome, so for him to act dumb here is absolutely ludicrous. Get that foot. 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 Get his foot. That foot be a ringer. That foot is angering. <laughs> Hearing this owner's cold-blooded and fake laughter mocking this suffering monkey just about sums it all up. I pointed out this peculiarity of this owner in previous videos, that not only does he refuse to admit anything is wrong with his monkeys, he goes so far as to encourage and flaunt these abnormal behaviors to the audience just to prove some twisted point of his, under the safety of his Facebook page. Any normal and decent pet owner would take note of abnormal behaviors of their pets and do whatever it takes to get them help. That is what individuals who truly love their pets do. Instead, this owner continues to lie and hide the terrible conditions his monkeys live under and the horrible abnormal behaviors they express. Since this owner has engaged in this despicable and irresponsible behavior for over two years, my educated guess is that his ego simply despises being wrong and told that his methods are wrong and will go to any lengths to deny rather than accept wrongdoings. This is why this owner continues to hide on his Facebook page and harass others from within, knowing he has full control over viewer comments. This owner knows he can no longer film his monkeys and post their videos under these conditions on his other social media pages, especially YouTube. The very definition of cowardice. It is absolutely heartbreaking to see this monkey unable to control itself due to its terrible mental state. At only six years of age, I predict things will continue to get worse, especially since this owner has shown he does not have these monkeys' best interests at heart. That is not lies or slander. The video evidence backed by multiple research studies clearly indicate dysfunction all around with these monkeys. My highly educated guess is that this owner is looking into other measures to get this monkey to act in the manner he wants, and that includes surgical procedures to neuter. This owner was no doubt spooked about doing so last year thanks to the efforts of brave individuals on subreddit that refused to be his bootlickers. Yet the rapid decline in this monkey's behavior may force his hand regardless if he wants to keep him. If this owner is so confident in the way he has treated and continues to treat his monkeys, why won't he make a proper video on YouTube detailing why he thinks his monkeys are actually all healthy and happy? Why doesn't he get the backing of any primate rights organizations or veterinarians specializing in the care of wild monkeys? He does none of this because he knows he cannot. Thus his only options are to hide behind his Facebook page and threaten or harass individuals who dare to express concern over the condition of his monkeys. Unsurprisingly, one of the pet monkeys previously profiled on this subreddit page, Monkey H, continues to show highly abnormal behaviors. In particular, this six-year-old capuchin monkey continues to display floating limb syndrome at an alarming rate. The first time this abnormal behavior was highlighted, the owner, a self-anointed capuchin guru, seemed perplexed. It appeared the owner sensed something was quite not right with this monkey. There is no doubt in my mind the owner was educated on floating limb syndrome thanks to this subreddit, that he won't admit to watching. Despite this knowledge, the second time this monkey started displaying floating limb syndrome, the owner made the deliberate choice to taunt the monkey and act like there was nothing unusual about his behavior. And in the most recent video which is highlighted here, the owner completely ignores the monkey's floating limb syndrome. If anyone out there still thinks this is a monkey that is living its best life as a pet, and these monkeys live better than many human beings, you are no better than this owner. I think we should all make the hat mask. Kenny and, uh, and Erica spend, spend three awkward days of not... Uh, well, it might be three awkward days of not miss novels are written about. This gent, this is your man, he was went to a company and had a concert by himself, got me backstage and meet Adam and Aeon, and he wasn't supposed to shake his hand, but he did anyway. <laughs> Kenny got to meet Eddie in person, making sure 
when I was I was bad sick. All the deals I made with God on the stuff I was going to start doing, I'm still mixed up. I'm trying to make sure I, I'm honoring all them deals on it. South so, so Park was one of the best TV shows ever. I, I'm I still for so long day. That's why we went so long without power and stuff. And Matt the owner of this monkey has never acknowledged for years that his monkeys displayed abnormal behaviors, despite the sheer volume of visual evidence. And this owner just doesn't resort to lies and denials of his monkey's condition. He goes out of his way to bully and silence those who dare to speak out against his treatment of his monkeys. It is little wonder he hides behind his Facebook page and hasn't updated all three of his monkeys' YouTube or social media pages with new content. Monkey H is only six years old yet he is regularly displaying multiple behaviors that clearly indicate mental disorders. The constant scratching of its body, the body rocking motions with blankets, the god-awful screeches, floating limb syndrome. Thanks to the actions of people on Reddit, this owner no doubt was spooked into not subjecting Monkey H to canine teeth removal and neutering. Watching Monkey H display these abnormal behaviors and constantly be kept on a leash outside his cage indicates a monkey that is desperate to reclaim its wild roots as a fully maturing adult male capuchin. Unfortunately, I see no hope for this monkey so long as he continues to be a pet. This owner's other once prized monkey, Monkey B, is so mentally disturbed that he can no longer be filmed outside his cage. And I doubt Monkey B even leaves his cage that much anymore these days based on that disgusting nail polish video from October 2024.